Good morning everyone, James here from NK Prestige and if I reach over here, we've got the key to the brand new 71 plate RS3 Vosbrun. So we're gonna basically take you on a little trip. We're gonna take the car out, we've got a couple of little jobs to do and uh, a couple of things to mention and there's a couple of things that I wanna talk about the car in general, um, but I thought I'd just take you on a bit of a day in the life. A couple of people on TikTok and on Instagram have asked how we film our videos how we show the content that we show. So I've got my gimbal here, I've got my camera stuff in my bag. So let's pull the car out of the showroom and go and take it on a little drive. Audi RS3 time, absolutely just what a car this thing is. I'm excited every time I get in it. Obviously we will talk about this controversial steering wheel. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, I quite like it, but we'll see it on the road and uh, get a bit more of an experience as we go. Some nice little cutways and our mission for today is to recreate one of our famous TikToks with this car. One of my directors was texting me last night, he was like, oh James, let's do this. I want a really nice location. So. We'll have a look at a couple of locations. I've got a couple in my head. We'll have a think, we've got fuel, so we're good to go. Let's get out of here in this absolutely fantastic Audi RS3. Okay, right, spot one is coming up in just a minute. We've only just come a couple of miles down the road. Obviously, we've got to watch mileage and everything else on this, but obviously, can't turn down the opportunity in taking out the Audi RS3. I mean, what can we say about this car? As I, as I sort of mentioned just before, that the steering wheel has been very controversial. A lot of people think we should have the flat bottom steering wheel in here, um, but there's loads of different reasons why. Um, I know on our, I think it was on our Instagram, people were saying, oh, you have to have um, heated steering wheel for the round wheel, but that's not true because our RS6, which was just sold yesterday or today, something like that, that has a flat bottom steering wheel and it is heating. I believe, could be wrong, but it's all to do with the driver assistance package. Um, it's got loads of features and stuff in there that this wheel has to have. You might be able to option it. I know you can option it with like an Alcantara wheel that's flat bottomed and all sorts, but Vorsprung, might have thought so. However, round wheel, and you know what? It's okay. It's not, when you're driving it, it doesn't feel like it's unsporty as you could say and, and for these cars if you haven't driven them haven't experienced them you don't really understand the actual car itself until you've been in it and experienced it the drive of this thing is just out of this world i can't even i can't even tell you or express how amazing this thing is to drive you just put your foot down just a little bit that 400 brake horsepower is right under your right foot in a car that weighs pretty much nothing um the feel of it the quality of everything is just something else so let's head to the spot we'll update everyone when we get there and there'll be a few nice little cutways as well uh, gotta watch the gotta watch the rs3 Ooh, right so let's look at positions now a lot of people on TikTok and a few on Instagram as well. Uh, we're asking how, not only how good our videos and our content is, but also how we film it. So I'll give you a bit of a rundown for everyone out there that wants all the trade secrets of NK. We use Sony cameras. We have a Sony A9 and a Sony A7S II that we use for all of our content. We have a G Master for all the camera guys out there. G Master 24 to 70 mil and a G Series 70 to 200 mil <laughs> uh, with G stabilization and everything else in, on top of it. Absolutely fantastic cameras and fantastic lenses. We've also got a 24 mil prime. I think it's 24 mil, could be 50. Anyway, 
I'm rambling because I can talk about cameras all day long um, because that's that's what I collect basically cars and cameras <laughs> but yeah so we've come to one of our one of our sort of I don't know what would you call it Reese the subtle locations. yeah subtle locations now when we first started doing the social media marketing brand awareness and everything else on top of it and the amazing content that we bring out it was always quiet because of covid and everything else and during summer for some reason it was nice and quiet today it is absolutely rammed with cars and i have no idea why just that's just how it is it seems obviously we do have to watch the mileage on the cars i've already mentioned so um so yeah we've come to one of our local spots just down the road which was my second option unfortunately my first option did not work um so yeah second location absolutely fantastic place it's really nice really quiet it's quiet for people not walking around you there seems to be a lot of cars today so we're gonna get some awesome content we'll also have a look outside the car and inside the car a little bit more in detail um, because i know you guys do want to see the content and then we'll have a little final thoughts as we drive back and uh, we'll get back to nk okay guys we're outside of the car now i'll try and make it a little bit more fluid a little bit more of a vlog type instead of the usual sort of review setup that we do but audi rs3 we all know it by now we've seen it on our instagram we've seen it on our tiktoks we've seen it on all of the content that we put out but why not milk it a little bit more so let's have a look at the car obviously it's a 2.5 liter engine pushing just short of 400 brake horsepower although this day i think it's something like 395 or 401 there's a little bit of speculation on that people are saying all different things um but the actual power delivery of the car is just unbelievably like impressive obviously i've driven the hatchback i've driven the uh gray saloon that we had um so this will be the i think fourth audi rs3 71 that i've driven which is mind-blowing um but what a car i think this is my favorite though obviously we have to talk about the wheels the wheels are a big thing so let's have a look at these for a minute so finished in black and they've got like a, a chrome uh, sort of like design to them um, which I really like I love the pattern I love the design I only think that if you are going to buy this car if you're going to change anything red brake calipers would just look next level on this um, I mean they look impressive they look nice obviously it's blacked out it's stealth but I think that red and black accent to match with the RS3 badges on the front and the back such as obviously right here on the new redesigned grille Again, I really like the grille. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. Looks a lot more aggressive, especially blacked out as well. I mean, you could literally just stand and stare at this car all day. You can always check with the lights as well, which I sort of learned and discovered. The matrix lights, LED matrix lights are always, they have the checkered flag. And I know the RS3, but if they actually spell out the RS3, that's obviously the LED matrix lights. Nice little fun fact. Obviously this is the saloon version. So if you have a look at the back, we do have the panoramic roof up top, obviously the four doors, and I just love this design. Now, the white, the uh, arches are a little bit wider, so we've got a bit of a wider arch, obviously the skirt down there, and the vents that run down past this wheel, very important. Again, fully blacked out, but those little touches on the wheels do really make a difference. I really like the saloon. I think this is why these cars sell so quickly. Um, hatchbacks are a little bit slower, but the saloons, no matter what color, I don't think, and I'm looking forward to seeing the green. Do you know what the green's called? Don't think I... Yeah, it's ca... <laughs> it's like a bright green color. Absolutely just looks insanity. And I can't wait to get a couple of those in. We do have some coming very soon. Um, again the lights redesigned on the new rs3 it's got the black badging all over it um and it's just got all of the goodies that you could obviously want Alright guys, so we are, let's turn the fan down, so we've done everything that we needed to now, this one spot, and we're only a couple of miles down the road, so we're going to head back, but wow, 
So we've talked about the outside of the car, really nice. Obviously inside of it. So B&O sound system, carbon inlays, um, all around sort of the dash trim. Love the actual Quattro right there. Digital dash, obviously the round steering wheel that everyone seems to hate, but I actually really like. Um, yes, it needs a flat bottom, as we've already discussed time and time again. It's got a heads up display and it's, it's an RS3. They sound amazing. If you press the RS button on the um, steering wheel, goes into RS individual, press again, goes into performance. That's when it goes into sport mode and everything else. We've got navigation. We've got all the lovely touch screen stuff um, right here. We can press again, we're back into auto. Um, I just don't know why they don't do the gloss black around the, the center, but hey, -oh, that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, what a car. I mean, I absolutely love it. I love the new design as I've, as I've pretty much said time and time again. And it's just a, a nice place to be. It's a nice place to sit. It's a brand new RS3 Vorsprung, first in the UK, so you've got to feel very privileged driving it. Right, oh, somebody's coming there. All right, we'll put it around the back. Put the car around the back. There's a bunch of stuff going on at the minute. Z, Z's waving. I'm, what's he doing? <laughs> We've got to figure out what's going on. They're moving cars about because, well, I don't really know. Um, oh, he's going in there. Okay, he's going in there. I understand now. Uh, but we're going to get it washed and then we can put it back in the showroom after. Um, let's just go back here. Let's have a look at Digital Dash for a minute because that's really cool. Like, look, we can have that. Obviously, all on the new Audis. We've got this and we've got that. Actually, lovely. And then when we go into RS, we've got the um, landing strip, as they, they sort of call it, landing lights, um, as the as it all goes in. But let's park the car here at the back of NK. Let's get it washed and get it back into the showroom. But we can have a little final thoughts as we get out the car and, uh, and park up. Excellent. I'll just dump it here. These lot can handle it. I don't know why. Not, I don't know why it's not frozen. I don't know. Reese needs a quick rinse down and then we'll All put right. it back in the showroom. No, it's so just when you got a chance. Yeah, I know. I know. Right, come on. Let's go. I mean, I took the gimbal, but we ended up just doing it freehand, so I'm not really sure why. With that experience. With that experience. With that wood, <laughs> you don't need no gimbal if you have a hands. 